protein should you be eating? How much protein should I be eating? I get this question just about every day. If I were to say like, what's the number one question you get? It is, it is about protein. And it's because I talk about protein so much. Protein is very, very important. It is the number one nutrient I find that women are not getting enough of in their bodies on a regular basis when they're trying to really improve their health overall. So I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The P Female Menopause Solution. <laughs> Let me try that again. I'm author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. You can find these on Amazon. Learn more about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that as well as subscribe here on YouTube. Stay updated on all the info I've got coming out. So let's get into it. Let's talk about protein. Why is protein so important? Because it helps us build lean muscle, increase our metabolic rate, improve um, cravings, help even on our blood sugar levels, help regulate our hormones, give your body the energy it needs. It can help you sleep better at night. All the things, literally all the things. In fact, there are gals that I have worked with um, where they talk about, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm starting to feel better. This is just a few days in, a few days in that they'll be like, I'm feeling better. What's going on? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. All I have them doing is start eating more protein. <laughs> Like if there was one magic thing that I could have you do, it would be get more protein. Um, but how much protein? How much protein? So I'm gonna show some different variants of this and how to work towards higher levels of protein where it can be easy to maintain for you, okay? Um, one of the things, again, is, is uh, we always wanna make a big, fast change overnight and think this is gonna be great. But with protein, the tricky thing is that it can have a, it, it's, it's a lot of work and energy for your gut to break down, okay? So it, it's got a big job to do when it has to break down protein. So if you're going from 50 or 70 grams of protein a day, and now you wanna double that, that can be like a gut bomb, honestly. So let's ease into it, right? Let's say you're going from 70 to 100 grams of protein a day. Okay, great. How do we get 100 grams of protein a day? Right, we're gonna do protein pacing. So of the meals, one, two, three, four, five, we want that to equal 100, right? So easy thing here, wow, wow. Oh, you can't even see that. Let me redraw that, let me redraw that. This is getting messy. This is getting messy here. Let me make a little chart here and make sure you can see this here. We'll do it like this. And like this protein chart. I should have drawn this out beforehand. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Let's do this. We want to get for this one, a hundred grams for the day. That's our goal. So we'll just do 20, 20 times five is a hundred. Oh, that seems easy. How do I get, more than that, how do we get 125? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. How do you get 125 grams of protein? You wanna bump it by a whole serving? You can just increase every single one by five. Get 25 grams of protein, that's just a little boost. All of a sudden, you're getting a whole other serving. This alone, will. this tactic right here can break a plateau. If you are thinking, gosh, I have been, I did really well, I started protein pacing, I noticed an improvement in my energy, I dropped 10 pounds, but now I've been kind of stuck. What do I do next? Bump it, bump it right here. This is one of the ways to do it. Or, right, or instead of saying, I wanna bump my total protein for the day, but I'm gonna keep everything else the same here, right, 20, 40, 60, 80, then you're leaving 45, then you would have to change this to 45 here in the morning to get 125, if that makes sense. Great, super duper. <laughs> what if you don't eat five times a day? What if you're super busy and you don't have time for that and you wanna get this much? Okay, that's a fair question, right? You could do 35 for, oh yeah, I'll use the same color, 35 for breakfast, 35 grams for lunch, that's 70 right there. Let's do 40. 
Let's do 40, because now I just realized we're going to overload dinner. 40, 40 is 80. And then if we do another 40, that's 120. So we, let's say 45. Right? There. There you go. Now you're getting 125 grams of protein. Is that the right amount for you? I don't keep everybody at the same macro levels all the time, forever. It changes. It can change with your stress levels, your um, gut health, your activity levels, your hormonal cycle. I take you through this when we work together, but I'm giving you different examples here to sh demonstrate this can be different and these different levels can actually give you a positive result too, right? What if you're really looking at getting like 150 grams of protein? Okay, that's easy. 30, just a little bump again. And you want your grams of protein a day to match what your lean body mass is in pounds, average. So say you want your, say you weigh 170 or 180 pounds right now and you wanna get down to 140 or 150. This would be something to shoot for for a little while you know, okay, not to stay there, but then you could bump it down here too. And if you're thinking, gosh, again, that's a lot to eat throughout the day. Again, this would just be, you could really have a lot of protein at these meals. And if you're thinking, oh, the body can't absorb that, you, have, you can teach your system to absorb it. Or again, this is the easier thing on the gut overall, eating more frequently. Again, helps with blood sugar regulation and everything else. So Hopefully that helps kind of answer that question overall. Again, if you have any other questions or you're needing guidance on this, don't hesitate to reach out to me. But these are things that we talk about. If we know you're getting enough protein, um, then that's helpful. One of the things that Dutch does test for is your biotin levels. So we wanna make sure we're addressing that and not missing out. Again, this is the number one nutrient I find women miss. And if you're not getting enough protein, I don't care how much you're working out or anything else, you're not gonna have a good metabolism. So start with this and let me know if you have any other questions.